concerning the Da Vinci Code. Well, bloody fool, isn't he? The whole world fucking bought into it. This is the way it is. Leonardo da Vinci did not believe that John was the loved one for even the forefathers of the church didn't know who the loved one was. They just labelled the book of John the Gospel of John. Well, it says nowhere in the scriptures who the loved one is. Leonardo da Vinci believed the loved one was James the Less. Not Mary or John. James the Less. That's why the churches are making you all look on the wrong side of the picture. Read your scripture. It is he who eats the piece of bread once dipped. Scripture. Judas was told by Jesus what to do. It's in your scripture. You obviously don't know it. You're chasing after dickheads like Dan Brown. James the Less. Remember it. James the Less was the scorpion. Scorpio 1980, the Da Vinci Con. Leonardo da Vinci, World Con Revealed by the Spirit with Common Sense to Scorpio 1980, True Awakenment, Awake, Matthew 2620-23. When evening had come, he sat down with the twelve. Now as they were eating, he said, Assuredly I say to you, one of you will betray me. And they were exceedingly sorrowful, and each of them began to say to him, Lord, is it I? Mark fourteen eighteen to 20 Now as they sat and ate, Jesus said, Assuredly I say to you, one of you who eats with me will betray me. And they began to be sorrowful, and to say to him one by one, Is it I? And another said, Is it I? He answered and said to them, it is one of the twelve who dips with me in the dish. Luke 22, 21 to 23. But behold, the hand of my betrayer is with me on the table, and truly the Son of Man goes as it is been determined, but woe to that man by whom he is betrayed. Then they began to question among themselves which of them it was who would do this thing. John thirteen twenty one to 26 When Jesus had said these things, he was troubled in spirit and testified and said, Most assuredly I say to you, one of you will betray me. Then the disciples looked at one another, perplexed about whom he spoke. Now there was leaning on Jesus' bosom one of his disciples whom Jesus loved. Simon Peter therefore motioned to him to ask who it was of whom he spoke. Then leaning back on Jesus' breast, he said to him, Lord, who is it? Jesus answered, It is he to whom I shall give a piece of bread when I have dipped it. And having dipped the bread, he gave it to Judas Iscariot, the son of Simon. Our key is the fact Jesus is already pointing to the bread. Therefore Peter is retreating from motioning whom Jesus loved, and the loved one is retreating from asking Jesus. Two apostles are concerned it's themselves, and the rest intrigued and thinking vainly of what he had said. Awaken from the hysteria, and come to grips with the fact Mary is no way part of the picture, for below, Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces is the Zodiac, and John represents a virgin. 
would Mary, if she was part of the picture, then again, is Mary a prostitute? And many artists represent John with female qualities, and many place the loved one on the left side of Jesus. Just look for yourselves and thank Da Vinci. Da Vinci believed the loved one was James the Less by his interpretation of scripture. Jude was constantly confused with Iscariot, so they seemed like twins in his work. James and James stand by one another to confuse the seer even more, but through resemblance one can make out who's the brother of John and the father slash brother of Jude. If Leonardo had preached anyone other than John was Jesus' beloved and Judas was simply doing his job for God, do you think he would have been asked to paint the Last Supper? that is now the church's worst enemy which they illuminate with dark clouds of confusion? No wonder da Vinci was debunked and accused of buggery, so Leonardo sodomized the church continually, which led to suppression by necromancy. Many people refer to Lazarus as the one whom Jesus loved, and fair enough, Jesus loved him, Mary and Martha, and cried the hour he heard of his death. But there's many a problem that don't add up, and it's the same case for John and Mary. But there for your own time and another of my pages, this is for Leonardo da Vinci and his opinion in paint. Lazarus, Mary and Martha was Jesus' family. That's right. You have all been blinded by the church's light once again. Lucifer knows how to work this world, doesn't he? Wake up, sheeple. Leonardo da Vinci was not a Freemason. But Leonardo da Vinci understood that Jesus was an angel. God's first angel. And he dedicated his life's work to God, Mary, and the angels and saints of heaven. Knowing God himself is the Almighty One and Jesus is his first begotten Son. No, Jesus is not God. Get your trinity and shove it. Three of a perfect pair.